clock board, some raisin, a weighing scale, a heat gun or a heating torch, some sand so I got it from the construction site, some raisin pigments or you can also use some acrylics. Some seashells, uh, so I ordered it from Amazon. You can also get it from the beach itself. Gloves. Some more sand if you have it. Some ice cream sticks and disposable glasses. So we'll start by weighing a raisin. And you have to weigh it according to the brand you've got. So for the brand I have got, my ratio is 3 is to 1. So I have poured my raisin and hardener accordingly and now I'm mixing the mixture really slowly until it becomes homogeneous. Make sure you don't mix it too fast because it will end up getting a lot of bubbles and you don't want that. And now I'm going ahead and adding my raisin pigments into the raisin and I have divided my raisin into 5 different glasses. So I went ahead and mixed all the colors like this. So I have some blue, turquoise, white, some sand color. So now we'll start by laying a sand onto the surface like this. You can go and create whatever shape and size you want to give it. I am just giving it very randomly like the flow is very random, very free form. So I'm just uh, laying it all over the surface like this. And now I'm adding some real sand over it so that it gives us a real 3D effect.
and now to seal our sand i am using some clear resin and covering it like this don't worry your resin will flow all over the place but that is how it is it is a lot messy but don't worry now i'm just adding my layers with blue and sky blue some turquoise like this so that it gives us an ocean effect and now i'm adding some white to it and then blowing it away with some hot gun like this so that it creates waves and give us a form we like so i'm covering all the surface with the color like this and you can see how messy my workspace looks like because the color flowed all over the place but don't worry i collected all the wasted resin and made coasters out of it because i didn't want to waste resin because it's too expensive and yeah you just don't want to waste it so you can also do that just collect the leftover resin and use it for some other creations also please make sure you don't blow away the sand like i did because there's no way you can come back to it and now i'm adding some shells to give it a pretty look and leaving it overnight So my clock had completely dried up and I also added the needles to it and this is how it looks and it looks so pretty I'm so happy with this I also sanded my edges to give it a smooth effect and this is how the final clock looks like it's so pretty I love it I hope you guys also like it